Club has guided me and given me all the to tools to succeed to be the artist and the academic successor that I am today. Uh, when I was younger, I used to always color my coloring book, and one of my old counselors, Mike Kozier, saved every single one that I drew for him, and he said, I'm saving these for when you become a famous artist, and that alone made me w want to be the best I could be. The Boys and Girls Club, to me, has been my second home for such a long time. About the time I was five years old, my mother had been sending me there because uh, my parents had recently got divorced and the divorce had become violent and my mother did not want me nor my sister to be in an environment like that. So the Boys and Girls Club was my home. I was there more than I was at school or, my, or the place I lived and emotionally it has been everything to me. I love going there. I've been going there ever since I was five, six years old. It's just a place I enjoy going. My friends, we hang out there, play basketball, and just have fun. I've seen kids, actually, that have never come, and they're angry all the time. I actually forced my friend to come with me one time, and we actually sat down with Irene Brown, funny enough, and just had pretty much talk about what he was doing, why he was doing these things. And after he left, he was like, wow, you know, Irene's really nice and I'm happy that I came here because I was probably going to go do something bad. Because nowadays everything's go, 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 you know, have the email straight to your phone, get it really quick and people are just like choosing wrong things to do because they just want to do it, live in the moment, they're not thinking before they do it. I mean, unfortunately some of my friends aren't in the best situations right now because of just some choice. If they took one second and just to think before they did it, the whole life could have been different. My freshman year, I really didn't care about school. I, it was nothing to me. I went there to socialize, I went there to eat lunch. That's it. But when my sophomore year, my life really got shaky and everything just started, started falling apart. And the Boys and Girls Club was there. I turned to them and they helped me, they showed me that school and relationships and all of that is fundamental to having a bright future. I didn't want to end up like my mother and my, f and my family and they're infamous in the streets and I didn't want that. I didn't, I wanted to be a whole new person. I wanted to leave. I didn't want, so they said, in order for you to succeed, you have to stay in school. You have to look and see a brighter future for yourself. High schoolers don't really interact with the Boys and Girls Club as much because they think it's more of a younger kids thing. I, once I leave 8th grade, that's it for the Boys and Girls Club. I move on and do bigger and better things, which usually involves the streets and all that. And what I do, I like to tell younger kids, like freshmen and sophomore, about the Boys and Girls Club and the programs that they have. And I like to get them interested and involved. So, you know, one day just come past them there and tell them and show them that it's not just for the younger kids, it's for the older kids too. It helps them a lot. And a particular person that has influenced me the most at my Boys and Girls Club is Michael Everett. He is actually a director of a program that is housed under the Boys and Girls Club and it's called the Champions of Youth Program. The Champions of Youth program is a mentoring program that actually helps kids at a 24-7, at a more extreme level. It's helped me build very strong relationships with friends in the Boys and Girls Club and in this program that individually I probably would have not. You probably can't tell, but I'm actually a very shy person. I won't come out to you if I'm in a big group of people that I don't know. So if I have a smaller group, I'm good, I, I flourish in small groups. So when you have, when you're broken down in a small group, you're able to communicate, you're able to talk, and that helps build relationships, long life relationships that are always a good thing. I come to the Boys and Girls Club because I've always been there as a kid. I grew up there, basically, I've been there since I was in second grade. 
I participated in the after school program and the summer programs and um, as of now I'm a counselor and I counsel third and fourth grade and I'm also part of the Keystone Club and it just drives me to work with kids because in my future I would like to work with kids. So I think the Boys and Girls Club like shaped me to be a great person so I believe that the Boys and Girls Club Coast will shape a lot of the other kids' personality and the way they are and the way they view life and how they should act around their peers and how they should give back to their community. So I think the Boys and Girls Club is very, it, it gives back to the kids who don't have a lot and they show that they actually have a chance at life. So I think they're actually doing a really great job. Being in school and having to deal with stuff because I have a lot of family problems at home and then going to school and just having to do that. But I know at the club, all that outside doesn't really matter. Like once I'm in there, it's just like everything else and all my problems just fade away. And it's like being with the kids and being with the Y4C program and having to help other people just kind of fades away all my other problems and when I'm there I don't think about it and that just helps me out a lot. There are kids there that sometimes come up to me and ask me well what should I do with this or what should I do with that or I'm having a lot of problems and I don't know what to do and I feel better that I can relate to them and I can talk to them to what they can do better and what they can change in their own lives to maybe get in themselves out of what they think they can't do or, or the people that are telling them they can't do it. I want to go to the Art Institute of Philadelphia. I want to be a baking and pastry chef. I've studied that for three years. I went to a vocational school for three years and studied that there also. I've been walking, watching cooking shows and and even I even cooked at the Boys and Girls Club a couple times for the kids and just hearing them on, they even tell me, oh, well, you could do this better on that or add a little bit of this and that helped me out a lot more too. I come to my Boys and Girls Club to work with the kids that are there. I love being a camp counselor during the summer and being part of the mentoring program that we have there. I work with the middle school kids in our club and I just love their energy. I love being able to help them out with their problems. And I just love the feeling of being part of the club and all the positive attitudes that everyone has. I think teens struggle a lot with believing in themselves and believing in what they can achieve. I know I see kids in my own school who they could have been so much better than they are and if they had just believed in themselves, they could be in a lot better state now. And I know for me, the club has always been there. They, all the people there that I've had as far as either as camp counselors or Gisela, my Keystone leader, she always tells us what great people we are and all that we can do. And they really encourage me and the other kids there to be all that we can be and just stay positive and believe in ourselves. The person at the Boys and Girls Club who influences me the most is my Keystone leader, Gisela Machado. She is a wonderful leader. She influences me to be a leader in my own groups and in my community. She really takes charge and she encourages us. She knows out all of our potentials and she always believes in us. <laughs>